Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar and this is video 3 in my lesson series for OnlineDrummer.com. Now, in the previous two videos we took an extensive look at some grooves in 7-8 and we modified them. We just played around with it, kept adding notes, moving stuff around, and then we did the same kind of thing in 15-16 with some bonus fills and everything of course. So, the next logical step that I would take would be to combine the two. So let's take composite meters. We're going to use essentially 7-8 as our main meter, but every fourth bar, kind of like a drum fill, we're going to use a bar of 15-16. So it'll have an extra 16th note every fourth time around. Let's take some of the more basic examples from lessons one and two and combine it into our first composite meter. sounded pretty cool. So, let's swap out the 15-16. It's still going to be 15-16, but let's use the example that had the 316 bass drum underneath it. So the next thing that I'd like to do is take the bar of 7-8 and add the 316 repeating bass drum underneath that. Now one cool thing to notice is how this whole pattern repeats. So when we get to the 1516 bar and we have our five equally spaced bass drums across it using 316th notes, that's going to continue into the first bar of 7-8 to the very last note of that first bar again. So it gives a really cool revolving feel. It almost disguises the fact that we're playing in messed up time signatures a little bit. Great, this is starting to sound pretty awesome. So, what I'd like to do next is let's move one of those snare drums across within the 7 8, giving us that 2 over 7 polyrhythm that we talked about. So what we should do next is something a little bit tougher. Let's take that 316 spaced bass drum idea and just span it across the whole thing. So here's the coolest part. Within the 7-8, we're not going to resolve the bass drum every bar. We're going to let it continue within 316 over the bar line. Here's the cool thing. I can tell you without even thinking about it that because we have three bars of 7-8, our 316 spaced bass drum is just going to work. By the time we get to beat one of the fourth bar, the bass drum is going to be back on beat one. Now, the coolest thing about that is that's where we wanted it anyway. So through this whole four bar phrase, we're going to have spaced bass drums of 316 throughout the entire thing. So let's mess with this a little bit further. We're still going to keep with the 316, but we're going to get it back to resolving every bar within the 7-8. However, we are going to displace it by a 16th note, so it's going to start on the E of 1. Now, we're also going to keep the 2 over 7 spaced snare drum idea. displaced kick, there's no reason that we can't continue our 316 through the entire thing. It's still the exact same amount of notes, so it's going to work out regardless of where we started. It's just going to resolve back to where the beginning was, back on the first bar again. Let's give it a try.
so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This is where it starts to get really fun for me because we're starting to really sort of stretch out within these ideas. Remember, just a couple weeks ago, we started with just a single bar of 7-8, and we've turned it into this really cool thing. You guys have to look forward to another couple of lessons on this, so we're going to mess with it a little bit more. Until next time, subscribe, and I'll see you guys inside the next video. Bye.